obviously I, I'm embarrassed. Um, someone that is extremely, extremely private. I'm very disappointed in myself. I did not know IG Live. I've never been on IG Live. I've never turned IG Live on. So I don't know how it works. And he said, they can hear me. I said, hear me doing what? He said, it sounds like you were having sex. Man, my heart sank. Now the internet was yet again traumatized and this time it was by the one and only Hall of Famer, Shannon Sharp. Now to this day, I have never heard of Mr. Sharp. Apparently he's a big deal in the American football industry. He's a Hall of Famer. He used to play and now he runs a football talk show and my first impression of bro was bro was hungry he was eating food until he was out of breath now this wasn't no drake alone bored in an airplane situation this wasn't i show speed jump scare kumbas in the air this wasn't no queso eating 18 wendy's burgers this wasn't no deadpool with blonde hair this was, according to him, a very embarrassing accident that he went live on Instagram while he's doing his shakalaka bom bom. And he claims it was all an accident. We are going to come back to that. But before we talk further about it, let's go watch the actual video. Now, for obvious reasons, I cannot be playing the audio for you. I need to pay rent. But do not worry, I'll be translating it for you. Mmm, yummy. I love bananas and cucumba full of nutrition from my breakfast. Well, you know me, baby. I'm romantic. Do not worry. You don't have to feed yourself. I will feed it to you. Open your mouth and let me nutrition you, baby. And the majority of the time, it sounds like Michelle, the girl in the video, sounds like me after my second coffee in the morning, having fireworks and explosions in the bathroom. Me and Michelle sound exactly the same in this video. <laughs> Now, right after that, immediately after the live ended, this is what his manager, I believe, posted on his Instagram, saying that his account was hacked and he wasn't him just to save face. I can't imagine being one of Shannon's fans and just seeing him go in, on IG Live. Apparently, he's never been on IG Live, according to the video that he posted on his response. I did not know IG Live. I've never been on IG Live. I've never turned IG Live on. So I don't know how it works. Already having your breakfast or lunch, thinking that he's going to be talking about sports or thinking... There's a very huge update to the American football for the American football fans. Clicking on his IG live and the first thing you see is open your mouth and let me nutrition you. Now this went on for a couple minutes. Thousands of people enjoying themselves on the in the comment section. And during the whole video, you could hear his second phone kept on ringing nonstop one after another. And he said in his response as well that he'd, he was getting contacted the, the people he never even talked to. People were calling him to warn him that bro, uncle turn off your ig live he should go thank god that his phone wasn't pointed towards him after he finally answered the phone call thankfully he didn't silence and then throw the phone away because god knows what else we would have have seen he realized that he's actually live on instagram and it, this is his words his heart dropped into his asshole well he said his heart sank but that's what he meant uh, my kids um i reached out to them i called them i called my sister uh, my friends, obviously, my friends reached out, but guys, this was not staged. Um, came in, I threw my phone on the bed, um, gazed in an activity. I did not know IG Live. I've never been on IG Live. I've never turned IG Live on, so I don't know how it works. And so um, all of a sudden, my other phone is going off, and people are calling me FaceTime that I've never talked to a day in my life on FaceTime. And it didn't, I'm like, why are y'all calling me FaceTime? And after a while, Jamie uh, uh, Fritz, who's been my longtime marketing guy, he finally got through to me and he said, uh, Shannon, you on IG Live. I'm like, doing what? You know, I'm like, what am I on IG Live for? I ain't hit no IG Live button. He says, uh, they can hear. I'm like, I'm like, so now, Ocho, you know, I say ask for patience. He said they can hear. And now I'm starting to get agitated again because you call me and say I'm on IG Live when I know I didn't click myself on IG Live. And you say they can hear me. I said, hear me doing what? He said, it sounds like you were having sex. Man, my heart sank. It dropped. Now here he says that he doesn't know how IG Live works. He doesn't, he's not really familiar with the whole technology type of thing. I believe him in this part. But one thing I'm having a hard time believing is the fact that he came home with the, his phone in his hand and he started, you know, to get into that action, start having shaka like a boom boom, but then throws his phone away and randomly it just appeared to go live on Instagram. Okay, let's say his Instagram was open. 
did he have the live section open? You know, there's a button you need to press that says, you know, three, two, one. There's many things you need to be pressing to go live on IG, TikTok, any platform, even YouTube. At the beginning, when I found out about this news, I honestly thought that it was staged because this when he went live literally a few hours after this incident, he went live for like an hour plus. And at the beginning of his live stream, he sponsored a Viagra. Coincidence? Maybe. Hello, I'm Shannon Sharp, and I'm a role sponsor. Do you want hotter, more spontaneous sex? Rose Sparks can help. Sparks offer dual action prescription treatment that's given men stronger and harder erection. Maybe they saw this opportunity, the company, and they just wanted to sponsor him, or maybe this was planned from before. But the more I look into it, most likely he was live. Actually, he went on IG Live. When he threw it, his third leg was already up. It touched go live, and boom. We were looking at the brick on the wall and hearing a lot of bricks smash against each You get the point. I'm very disappointed in myself. He also went on and said that he wasn't actually hacked. At the beginning on his Instagram, like I said, he mentioned that you know he was hacked. It was just like a quick instinct, just a recovery. Oh, that wasn't me. But he came out clean and just told the truth to everyone that he actually just went live. This wasn't planned. This wasn't staged. He said that he was just being a healthy man. But the unfortunate part was everyone found out that he's a healthy, active man. I'm very disappointed in myself. And obviously with him trending on the first page of Twitter, literally everyone's talking about him for the past literally 30 hours. A lot of people kept on mentioning that he is done. ESPN is going to drop him. He's fired. This was so embarrassing. And ESPN will not take responsibility and would absolutely fire this guy. But according to multiple articles, ESPN made a response about this, and they're saying that they will not discipline Shannon Sharp for his accident on Instagram. So his safe on that side, it was just a misunderstanding accident, whatever the hell it was, and it won't happen again. And at the same time, I can't believe that someone would go at the worst time Instagram live by accident. You're taking a shit and you actually go live. Sure. Oh, oh, oopsies. Close it. But during a shakalaka boom boom session, I honestly don't know how I would react. Thankfully, I'm very familiar with technology. And I always, uh, <coughs> any activities, this goes on here. So you will never catch me lacking in any situation. If you do, I honestly don't know how I would react to it. Thankfully, I'm not like I show speed. I actually wear underwear. I honestly have no idea how I would react to it. I'll probably just embrace it and be like ha ha you saw you you've been listening to kush yapping all day now you've seen mini kush i, I don't know what the fuck i want to say kush jr was thirsty i'll probably embrace it and just suck it up it is what it is it is what happened and just move on with my life and that's exactly what he did he just made a lot of jokes about it and a lot of people are giving him backlash on saying this was so unprofessional how would your kids think of this well, my friend, I can assure you that there are much, you know, parents on OF. There are kids who have seen worse things about their parents in real life and online. I've literally called my dad. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna share this story with you. Not tonight. But overall, he handled the situation very well. And there's nothing gonna happen. It's not gonna affect his career. In fact, it made him even more popular. And a lot of people started following his show and his whole career, basically. <laughs> Anyways, just wanted to talk about this. This was another snake attack on the internet. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, like the video, subscribe for these yapping sessions. Thank you for yourself. I'll see you at the next one.